All right, guys, this is the lesson 5.1 video. And at the end of this lesson, you should be able to use mid-segment properties to solve for lengths and measures in triangles. So to begin, let's look at the vocabulary. A mid-segment of a triangle is a segment that connects the midpoints of two sides of the triangle. So to review what a midpoint is, anything that has, you know, ends on it. So we're talking about a segment itself. The midpoint is the spot in the middle that cuts the segment into two congruent parts. I also would like to make sure that you know about the mid-segment theorem. The segment connecting the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel. Remember, parallel means that it's not going to touch the other side that it's going to run along next to. It never intersects with it. So it's the uh, mid-segment itself is parallel to the third side of the triangle, and it is half as long as that side that it's parallel to. So if I was going to draw a triangle like this, um, and I was going to have a mid-segment like this, it's going to be parallel to the third side. Okay, remember those little arrows mean parallel. And it just has midpoints of the two sides that it touches. So that means this side or this segment is congruent to this segment, and this segment is congruent to this segment because that purple line which is the mid-segment, touches the midpoint here and here on the triangle. But it also is parallel to the third side that it does not touch. So just remember, there are three things that you are learning about a mid-segment. It, it is created by the midpoints. It cuts the two sides in half. It's parallel to the third side that it does not touch. And we have that it is half the length. So... That's a huge thing. It's half the length of the side that it's parallel to. All right, let's take a look at a couple of examples so that we can practice these properties. Example number one says to use the mid-segment theorem to find lengths. In the diagram, ST and TU are mid-segments, all right? So this means the line that is called ST is a mid-segment. So therefore, and I usually like you to mark things on the diagram, so those two segments are congruent because T is a midpoint there. We also have S as a midpoint, so that means that this segment is congruent to this segment. All right, the other mid-segment they told us is TU. All right, so if TU and ST are mid-segments, then there's some things we already know. We need to find out what PR is, the length of this entire side here, Okay, so let's do that first. Do we have a side that's parallel to it or a segment that's parallel? Yes, we do. This is the mid-segment that's parallel to this side. The side that's parallel to it is two times as big. So if the mid-segment is eight, we have to multiply by two to get the length of PR. So eight times two is 16. What's the length of TU, which is the mid-segment itself? Well, I see here that the side called QR is 10, but that side is parallel to TU, right? This side is parallel, and the side that's parallel is twice as long. So to find out this mid-segment, we would have to take 10 and divide by 2 because TU is half the length of the side that it's parallel to. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. All right, so there's a couple problems for you to practice on. Um, practicing on your own here, and you're doing the same thing. So just remember the properties of mid-segments. They are half as long as the side that they're parallel to, and they are created by connecting two midpoints. So if you look at the diagram, you'll probably want to mark this length congruent to this length, right? That uh, TZ is parallel to that side. And then this length is, is congruent to this length, and this is the um, mid-segment to that side. And then finally, we have this mid-segment, which creates congruent segments here and here. So once you have the information on your diagram, it makes it a lot easier to find the links that they're asking you for. Let's take a look at the second side. And on the back, we have example two. It's asking us to use the mid-segment theorem again. So in the diagram at the right, well, it's not at the right, it's just below here, SB is congruent to SC. All right, so this side is congruent to this side, which makes S a midpoint, right? S is a midpoint here. 
and then we have RS is parallel to AC. This is a mid-segment that's parallel to AC, this side over here, and we know that RS is one-half of AC, and we need to show that R is the midpoint of BA. So we need to just give an explanation. This is the mid-segment, which is one-half of AC. Okay, AC is that third side there. And we want to write this in sort of a little sentence. So since RS is one-half of AC, RS is a mid-segment. S is the midpoint of BC. And that makes R the midpoint of BA. Because remember, mid segments are made up of the connection of two midpoints. So we could have stated this a little bit differently, but if you recall, the length here is one half of AC, and therefore that makes this a midpoint, R is a midpoint, and S is a midpoint, because mid-segments are just a connection of two midpoints. So that's enough information for your explanation. But now in your practice problem, on your sheet you should have something that looks like this. Segment ST is a and that's what I would like you to write in. What do you know about ST? There are going to be three things that you need to fill in. ST is one half of which side of the triangle that's shown there. And ST is parallel to which side of the triangle shown. So you're using this triangle here to answer those questions. All right, so hopefully this video was short and sweet for you, and we will have some practice problems to do in class.